Hi, people. Me and John are here on Turks and Caicos Island, and he's launching his drone, so we can get some really cool footage of us on the like on the beach. This is our last day here. Today is John's actual birthday, so happy birthday, John! Right? He looks like a badass at 38. I hope I look like that when I'm 38. One day I'll be 38. I mean, really, I'm like 21 forever, but I'll be 38 one day, I suppose. But anyways, everything's been great. This trip's been amazing. After we got our suitcases, that was awesome. Yeah, leave them there. Say hi. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? It's done. We're tying. <laughs> anyways, okay. So here's his drone. The drone's weird, dude. So listen, he actually wanted to do some drone work at Peter's um, baseball game the other day. And I'm like, listen, I don't think it's a good idea for you to do that because the kids are like, they're like staring and they're looking. Hi, Jessica. Okay, so birthday, Daddy Boo. Thank you. Oh yeah, all my buddies. So check this out. This is really cool, guys. Check it out. Let's see. So you got these kite surfers back there. You guys totally missed like the good shit because somebody just dropped a kite into the ground and it was like, it literally like went boom. And I was like, damn. I was like, that's supposed to be a fucking kite. <laughs> that's supposed to slam like that, right? Our wonderful view I'm super excited to have joined like I had the great great trip it was absolutely amazing Joshua Reagan says happy birthday thank you guys I appreciate all the birthday wishes I really do thank you guys another year of hopefully greatest happiness tell John he's still young will you guys please he thinks he's old at 38 some connection um so yeah I'm glad we have our suitcases everything's great vacation's been amazing I'm glad to go back to the office and see my girls I miss them ever so dearly um I do want to say something while I'm out here okay because I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna share it in all these little areas where everybody can see my video but I mean you know, I'm not at the gym right that make me like a bad person no it doesn't because that's just not what I do I don't work out I don't like 
take a bunch of pride in working out. Not to say that people that like work out is a bad thing, because it's not a bad thing by any means. But me personally, I like to enjoy life a little bit. There is a couple people that were, they were indirectly talking to me and John, stating that, you know, you guys go out, you guys go dancing, you guys drink, what up, Matt? You guys go out drinking, you guys do this, you guys do that. Like, yeah, you know what? We are normal. Well, not really. But we are kind of normal, okay? So we live normal lives, right? Yes, we live normal lives. We have normal issues. Everybody's human. We bleed the same blood as you, red, right? We're not aliens from another planet, you know? So, I mean, at that point, we have feelings. We have hearts, guys. Listen, I'm gonna do what I want, okay? And you know what? For the people that can't balance the type of life that I balance, sounds like a fucking personal problem. Yeah, so I feel sorry yeah? for you. Personal problem for you, not my problem. Um, anyways, so you got anything to say? I don't got anything to say, but thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. Yeah. And man, I wish you guys could all be here because, man, it is beautiful here. It is crazy. So I hope you guys are having a good weekend. I'll talk to you guys soon. Anyways, Mike, yeah, no, I never let haters bother me, dude, ever. Listen, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna let people get under my skin. You know what does bother me though is like, okay, so check it out, and I'll be totally real with you right now. So, people that do not think, like, they don't do things that the way they should do things, and they're doing things incorrectly, like they're doing things like illegally, or they're doing things super, super incorrectly, or maybe even doing things like, you know, to give people like, like. People that have clinics like ours, like a bad name, okay? That kind of shit bothers me, all right? The reason why it bothers me so much is because we have worked so hard to get the reputation that we have and to really, really, truly help people and not like just do things that are not right. So it kind of bothers me that people do shit like that. But it's okay, you know? It's all right. Those people shall be revealed in the near future. Keep grinding, you guys rock. We love you too, Mike. Let's go see what these guys are doing. Hmm? These are guys from Turks and Caicos. They got cool accents. Hey, what's up guys? How we doing? Hi, I'm on live. All right, how we doing here? How we doing, how we doing, you know? <laughs> We're in hey, Turks what, and Caicos. What, what, what's good? I'm, We're in Turks and Caicos, the best island in the city, so man. what's up, what's up? The beautiful fucking beaches. <laughs> Get out of here, man. What's up, what's up? I don't know what to say, man. You gotta come in the paradise, man. You Wait, want you guys a paradise? Live here? You guys of course, live here, right? man. Born and raised. You was born and raised, man. You're my paradise. Of course, we you know never how, much, leave. how much she love it? Careful now. Yeah, man. <laughs> you don't wanna bring your wife in paradise. You know why? She might, you might leave, and she don't she, leave. She might not come back. You That's heard. what he's saying. You, you heard. Right? We have a whole horse, man, <laughs> waiting for the ladies down here. <laughs> They're waiting. They are waiting for all your wives. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we we have we have horse that can hold like at least like two twenty wife. <laughs> I can't. It, hey, the people out here are freaking awesome. I love them. Seriously, it's hilarious. And uh, you know, I gotta be the be the me old me, right? What up, Jenny? I love you. I miss you. Gotta represent, guys. Gotta be that type of lifestyle all day, every day, no matter where you're at, what you're doing. Whoever you are, no matter what color, religion, race, creed, you are a titan deep down inside. Pull it out, bring it to yourself every day you wake up. Okay, so with me being negative Nancy, it's time for me to jump in and say, not all of you guys are true titans. Some of you guys, some of you guys will never be titans ever. <laughs> Don's gonna kill me for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Titan Strong, Mike says. Titan Strong, baby. What's up, what's up, what's up? So anyways, How you doing? we went on the jet skis today with Peter. That was really, really cool. So I finally figured out, okay, and I'm going to tag Harshal and Carla in this because they went on our last trip with us. I finally figured out why my eyes are burning and the, the water is splashing up in my face. I have never in my whole life, and I have rode multiple jet skis, okay? I have never in my whole life experienced such burning sensations in my eyes 
and so much water splashing in my face. Finally figured it out today. You know how I figured it out? Because <laughs> we are going out this way, okay? When you drive a jet ski, usually you're, you're doing like this, right? Or like this. You're not usually going outwards, okay? No, you're not. Not so good, okay? Clearwater Beach does not have waves like this, okay? So anyways, long story short, I come to realize that it's because I'm riding outwards to this wreck ship, which I don't know if you guys can actually see it. Let's see. Uh, uh, yeah, no, can't see it. So anyways, come to find out, it's because I'm going up against the waves. Bye, guys! Bye, guys. They're going to take your wives, remember. Um, so anyways. <laughs> 90 Day Fiance, there you go. Don't you guys know Fiance? It's such a good show. <laughs> it's so real, that's what makes it so funny. So anyways, come to find out, you're going all the way the hell out there. And that's why, is because all the waves are crashing in this way. And of course, I'm splashing into the waves, going like at least 12 miles per hour, which is super fast on a jet ski. There's people that are looking at me and they're like, probably like, what is she doing? And I'm like, yeah, I'm live. Do you want to go live too? Should I ask these like random ass people if they want to go live because they're looking at me all like, what are you doing? You think they'll want to go live, guys? Come on. What's up, Michael? How are you? Happy birthday. Good to see you. We are in the middle of Colorado. Colorado. Oh, I'm sure. See you guys in the elevator. Colorado. Oh, well, we're from Florida. So we come from. I Extra live and extra real. <laughs> we're back, we're back. Do you girl. know what that girl just did? What she just did. <laughs> she says to me, I'm on live, right? And mm. she does, I mean, she knows I'm on live after I told her I'm live. Then she's like, oh, she's like, you are so gorgeous. Mm. She's like, you have these titanic tits. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, cool. And then she's like, can I touch them? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's that really just happened. That's that's awesome. Awesome. That happens that's on the island, stays on, on the, the island. island, you know? I don't know that's 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 Guys! Okay, seriously, it's probably time for me to get off of here because obviously I've tried to walk like five feet and something has happened every fucking three feet. Okay? So I am gonna let you guys go. My goal! Did you see what just happened to me? I was violated! Oh, interesting, guys. Very interesting. Um, she has the audacity to ask me if my boobs are fake. Of course my boobs are fake. Everybody has fake boobs. 
Duh! 450 cc's each. Daniel Diaco. Thank you very much, Bubba the Love Sponge. So do you know, I'll go ahead and tell you this too, because I don't care. Um, so I actually won my boobs. So uh, it was like, I don't know, maybe like five or six years ago. They, were, they do this thing where it's called 12 boobs of Christmas, right? And they give out 12 sets of boobs for free. And I want to say this had to have been, so I'm, what, 32? This had to have been when I was 28, maybe? Um, so anyways, I won these free sets of boobs. I was the very first winner of 20 of the 12 boobs. And uh, yeah, here I am with the titanium boobs. And John's over here. He has no idea what just happened, but should be interesting when he watches it later and then asks me what happened with the British woman with the hat, right? Right? It should be interesting. All right, Matt, Mike, I am going to sign off. <laughs> Isn't that awesome that I got free boobs? I mean, not many people can say that they got free boobs, okay? I got free boobs. I paid an extra thousand dollars to upgrade to the gummies because, I mean, who the hell wants what's it called? The little not gummies. Saline. There you go. Thank you. Um, anyways, so that was the story of my life. Um, I, I wish I could tell you that that was staged out. On stage out. I was just on live and I guess they saw me walking by on live and it's kind of kind of embarrassing actually. <laughs> Say hi, I'm on Facebook Live. She's taking care of us our whole time and she's been absolutely amazing. I love her. Um, not many people can actually handle me and John because I am um I have very, very, very high words and I like shit done correctly. And if things come out super messed up, then I'm very upset about it. Okay, anyways, much love to you guys. I'm gonna get out of here in case something else really crazy happens and uh, it's on live where I cannot delete it.